So this question starts off with a system of inequalities. Um, maybe we need to graph this. I'm not 100% sure. But let's take a look um, at the question to see what more we can do here. So in the xy plane, okay, so that's the first hint. As soon as I see xy plane, but there's no xy plane drawn, I just draw it myself. In the xy plane, if a point with coordinates a comma b lies in the solution set of the system of inequalities above, what is the maximum possible value of b? So a couple of things here. So it tells us that our coordinate is a comma b, which means that our x-axis is like our a-axis, and our y-axis is like our b-axis. And again, we're trying to find the maximum possible value of b, which in essence just means we're looking for the max y value, right? Max y. So we will need to graph this. So let's start off with the first inequality. What do we know about this first inequality? Well, if we think back to y equals mx plus b, we know then that 3,000 is the y-intercept for that first inequality. So because I don't have space to write out multiple units here and be evenly spaced all the way up to 3,000, I'm going to assume that a number that large means that I don't really need to do all of that. So I'm just going to say that this is 3,000. And therefore, if that's 3,000, that means I have a point right here for my line. And then I also know that negative 15 is my slope. So you know, if I were to go down 15 and write once or something like that, let's say it was there, which is probably not fully accurate, but we know for sure the slope is negative. I would then say, okay, my line should look something like this. Okay, so there's my equation, or that's my graph of the line. Now, the less than or equal to point just means that my line here is a solid line, and I can shade, right, which will be represented by these lines, these diagonal lines. This is me shading everything under that line that I just graphed, which represents the solutions of that first inequality. Now, the second inequality says y is less than or equal to 5x. Well, in that case, my b, right, there isn't anything here, which means it's just going to be like a plus zero. My y-intercept is going to be zero. And then my slope is a positive five. So I would like go up five, right, one. So let's say that's my next point, which is probably not accurate given scale. But again, probably doesn't matter. My line looks like this. And because I'm shading below that line, because it says y is less than or equal to, I'm going to just change the direction of my, of my lines here so that we can easily see where these lines intersect. Because where they intersect represents the solution set for the system of inequalities. So everything, and I'll just darken the lines, everything to the left of this, right? And to the right of this represents the solution set. So everything, and I'll use a different color, everything in here is the solution set for this inequality, for the system of inequalities. All right, so again, let's remind ourselves of what we're looking for. Well, we're looking for the maximum y value that we can get. Well, the maximum y value that's inside of the solution set would be actually right here, which is exactly where these two lines intersect. So if you're ever trying to find the point of intersection between two lines, all you need to do is set the equations equal to each other. So I'm gonna take you know, equation one and equation two, from the question and set them equal to each other. So instead of saying y is less than or equal to negative 15x plus 3,000, I'm going to say 5x is less than or equal to negative 15x plus 3,000, right? So basically, I just replaced y with 5x. Hopefully, you understand why I did that. And now I'm going to simplify this. I'm going to add 15x to both sides. So I have 20x. This is gone, equals 3,000, and I divide by 20. Right, this is just say equals, not less than or equals. And I get x equals 150. So the x value for the point of intersection is, is 150. So I have 150 comma, right? But the y value is what I actually want, right? Because again, I'm looking for the maximum y value. So to find that, all I do is substitute x with 150. So again, instead of y equals 5x, I replace it with y equals 5 times 150. 
and therefore y equals 750. So the maximum y value is 750, and therefore that's the answer to this question, 750. Don't be alarmed by how I you know, switched from less than or equal to in the question to just equals here. Don't forget, we're gra the lines that you graph are actually the equation forms, right? So it's like this line came from graphing y equals 5x. This line came from graphing y equals negative 15x. It's the shading that the inequality brings about, right? So it's okay to switch back to the equal sign. Our answer here is 750.